Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a live trade recap. Caught it all on film again, but unfortunately today was a red day for me. I'm gonna show you that trade, I'm gonna play it for you. I'm gonna talk real quick right now about what I saw in the entry and what I liked about this trade this morning, but then also what I didn't like about this trade. So I've got Interactive Brokers, IBKR Pro, which is the trading platform that I use. I've got that up here on the 15 minute chart and I've just got the pre-market activity, and you can see right here at 9 a.m., we got this big red candle that came in. And this was unfortunate just because you can kind of see all these candles were forming sort of a base layer, sort of a support area that if we would have opened for the day and then gotten short below this level, I think the move would have been a lot more powerful and I think today might have been a green day for me. But instead, what happened was it broke down in the pre-market with, you know, 20 some minutes left to go. It broke down. Then at 9.15 to 9.30, this candle came in, which set up a decent range and gave me breathing room to put my trade on. So I went ahead and put it on. And you can see here what happened was we got this massive high wave candle that came in. So it opened up. It pushed up a little ways, then it ultimately dropped off, triggered me in, pushed all the way down, didn't quite go 40 cents. And as many of you know, I like to go 40 cents profit, and then I move my stop loss from where it is at 30 cents to break even. Today, I didn't get that opportunity to move that stop loss because price action just didn't go far enough. So let's show you the video real quick. All right, I'm going to hit play here. So you can see I'm looking to get short at 88.30. That's my sell order. Then my stop is 88.60, 30 cents higher. And then I've got a 75 cent target based off of my fill price. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play on this. You're going to see we get triggered fairly quickly in the day. And now we're short 1,200 shares, full size for me. And one thing I want to show you guys real quick about IBKR that's really slick is can you see this faded red, sort of red fading to black shadow? That line, that's my actual entry. I didn't re I didn't know that. So I just learned that that if you have a question or you're thinking, okay, where exactly is this triangle showing my trade? It's right at this red faded line. It looks like a red sort of faded waterfall falling down. That's my entry. So I'm going to hit play again, show you the rest of the trade. We do push down pretty good here in a second. And it wasn't that bad. It looked like it was starting to move and starting to go. But again, I didn't like that this much of the move was taken out pre-market. So it popped back up, sort of was acting like it was bouncing at a level. At this point, I thought, well, you know, maybe it'll get a little momentum. I wanted to see the volume continue to press up, but it just kind of hung. We do get another little press down right there. So it's showing tendency, like it wants to keep moving. So I'm just staying in it. And I can't move my stop loss yet because I need to see 87.84. That would be a 40 cent move. I would then move my stop loss to break even, and then we'd let it play out. But as you can see, instead, it sort of pops back up, it's hanging, it gives me a fill, and then I'm out. So what I will say about this, it's always unfortunate to lose money, but here's the lesson of the day. Here's my takeaway. Yes, I did lose, but here's the key to it. I'm risking $360 on every trade with the hopes of making $900 right now. My R value is 360. When I flip to summary, you're gonna see that I lost $348. If you add my commissions back to that, that puts you right around 360. So this fill on my market stop loss was absolutely fantastic. And the platform, the broker, sort of helped me out with price improvements. It kept me at the level. It gave me a partial fill and then the full fill. So what they do is they in the background behind the scenes, they're trying to get you the best price closest to where you place that market order. This made me feel really good because as many of you know, I've traded since last week, slowly increasing my share size, and I haven't yet had a loser. 
I haven't been stopped out yet. Today was my first loser, and it happened to occur at full size for me, 1,200 shares for the, for the month of February. I'll be carrying 1,200 shares every day, and I lost exactly $360. Now, the reason why this is important is because this is just one step back. These days happen. I'll lose one. Now, if tomorrow I hit a winner, I win two and a half units. So I will net be up one and a half units if you wash out today's loss. So the takeaway on this is IBKR gives you amazing fills, which helps me to control my losses. Yesterday, and I can post the video here, I was talking about how if you scalp stocks or options or whatever, and you're making 500 here, making 600 there, making 700 there, and you're just taking profit immediately once you get profit, but you don't have a stop loss and you don't have a way of controlling your losses or limiting them anyway, what happens when you have five, six, seven, eight days in a row, your really high win rate with your average winner being maybe five, six hundred dollars? What happens when you then take a three thousand dollar whipper or a four thousand dollar whipper? It wipes out, it can wipe out weeks of profits. So that's why I want to hammer this home. You have to make sure that when you do take a loss, that it is calculated, it's precise and it fits into your trading plan. $360, that's what I've allotted for my loss every day that I trade. I'm okay with losing $360. Now, if it were double this, I would not be okay with that. And you know, you can get slippage or have delayed fills like on Thinkorswim. So that's why I, I breathe a sigh of relief today because IBKR filled me amazingly well and I'm super pumped about it because it keeps me in the game and it keeps my trade plan intact. And speaking of trade plan, this Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern, I've posted it on the YouTube channel and in the Facebook group. We're gonna go live and I'm gonna go live for an hour, two hours, whatever you guys wanna do, but we're gonna talk trade plans, trade management, all surrounding day trading. So not making any stock predictions, not telling you what stocks to trade in this upcoming week. I wanna help you with the more important piece which is trade management, trade plans, stop loss size, targets, profit to loss ratios, all that stuff. Bring your questions. If you don't have any questions, just come hang out and listen to others sort of, uh, you know, watch the chat, listen to me. We'll just be throwing around some really good information. So with that, let's talk more about this trade entry. So what I was watching here, as a lot of you know, I watched the last 15 minute candle and I'm going to go back to it. This here is the last 15 minute candle, this green one right here. So what I watched was the high and the low, and I'm looking to get short below this low. I set my order, my stop, sell stop to go short, 10 cents below that low. And I place that order about five to 10 seconds before the market opens, and then I just let it play out. Today, we popped up, it fell over, reversed, I got triggered in, it looked like a good trade, ultimately got stopped out, but that's my entry. That's how simple it is. Just getting short every day below that low, no matter what. And if I don't get triggered, some people asked me in the comments yesterday, what if the trade goes long? Do you take it long? And right now, no, I'm not. If, I, if the trade goes long, if AMD would have just climbed, then I wouldn't have traded it. And after 15 minutes, once the market's been open, 15 minutes and that candle closes, if my trade has not been activated, I cancel it. I only want an entry in the first 15 minutes. The reason for that, volume, massive liquidity, volatility, things are moving around. It's the best time, in my opinion, to put on a breakout trade as a scalper. So that's why I did that. So that was today's trade. Got the live stream on Saturday. I'm really excited about it. I want you guys to join me there so we can get into some stuff. And we'll just keep talking about different scalping techniques. We can talk about um, different ways to calculate your reward to risk ratio based on a spreadsheet. We can go through that. But I just want to get deep into the fundamentals and the mechanics for those of you who really want to be scalpers, day traders. You, want to, you just want to be in and out and be cash at night. That's my preference for my day trading is to be, well, obviously, to be cash at night helps me sleep at night, and then every day I wake up with a fresh account, 
and I just put on that next trade. So I did lose one unit today. We'll be back at it tomorrow. We're gonna try and recoup, um, hit 2.5 units tomorrow. Stay tuned and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss the live stream on Saturday. If you wanna track your trades so that you have really good metrics and you can look at them day by day, go to traderview.com, but go there through the description or the YouTube banner. If you use those links, that'll help support the channel. I really appreciate that. So hope this video was helpful. Drop me a comment below. Let me know how your day went and we'll see you tomorrow.